हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ द जीरा दैट इज डिफेक्ट ट्रैकिंग टूल यूज इन ग्लोबली इन एवरी इंडस्ट्री सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टूल विच इज यूजिंग फॉर द डिफेक्ट ट्रैकिंग चेंज मैनेजमेंट एंड द ट्रैकिंग ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट इट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द मैनुअल प्रोसेस एज वेल एंड दैट इज इन्वॉल्व इन एजाइल एजाइल मेथडोलॉजी एज वेल सो we have already discussed about the hplm tool which is the test case management and defect tracking tool uh, it is globally used for the both the purpose uh, it for the test case management and defect management both of the cases hplm is used but for the stand alone or its agile methodology jira is globally used for those who have not watched my previous session of hplm so watch that first that is divided in two parts one uh, in the half part and second one is the complete session of the hplm so in on that topic i explain each and every aspect of the hplm locking defect and test case management everything so now in this session we are going to learn about jira tool so first of all what is jira tool so jira is a tool developed by atlassian company atlassian it is used for bug tracking issue tracking and project management so for the project man manager or scrum master is the lead of that jira application and they are handling end to end that process the name jira is actually inherited from the japanese word called georgia jo jira which means godzilla the basic use of this tool is to track issue and bug related to your software and mobile apps it is also used for the project management the jira dashboard consists of many useful function and feature which make handling of issue easy so we will learn out the ex, uh, each and every steps by using that tool i have already created my login credential for those uh, who is working in the mnc organization so by default it team and uh, or their support team will create for them but if anyone wants to create from the scratch that will i will create that session in the afterwards first you have to see that what is jira and how we are going to use that so there are different components uh, in the jira so when you click on here it's start tab stayed and recent so whatever you have performed recently that components will be added into this then if you want to search anything by any issue number just like i have uh, re uh, reported that the defect test one so if i want to search that so i just have to mention that test fun one so you have to mention s t test friend one now you can see uh, i have already uh, reported that defect is logo is not proper i have made an random statement for that uh, for explanation purpose for those who are working in the organization level they have to mention each and every step with their attachment is very much required for the reporting defect issue is nothing but a defect so if you want to raise a new defect so you can uh, raise it from here or story or bug or epic story so the epic story is basically used in the agile uh, methodology of the test case management so jira scheme uh, everything can be configured and it consists of the workflow issues screens field configuration notification and permissions so settings from here and the help and then then there is a switch to action and here here is the notification so each and everything should be configured by uh, the owner of the jira so they can configure easily so first of all what is issue or defect so issue display all types of item that can be created and tracked via jira jira issues are classified under various forms like new feature sub task defect etc as shown in the 
in this diagram so if i want to raise any defect so i just have to mention the name of the defect or you can call summary of the defect just like i am creating one defect so we have to center here select here as a bug bug is nothing but a bug issue and defect have all these three terminology are same so from here i have to mention like a ui is not proper so this is the summary of the defect and here we have to mention each and every steps in the in the description tab then there is a priority so there are four fields in the priority highest high low and lowest highest it means a blocker uh, as a priority set so that should be resolved as soon as possible uh, in that uh, then the level if any any labels are added labels normally used for the project name or any functionality of that product so label should be selected from here if it is available then attachment there is there is attachment so in that attachment you can attach your screenshot or word document or any thing which is supported to the dad defect blocks if anything is any issue is linked to that uh, so you can select block assignee assign the person who is going to change that or the development lead if tester is raising that defect and it if it is a project manager the project manager should directly assign to the sprint holder so sprint person is responsible for that defect so epic link is as we have discussed here epic link is attached here if it is available sprint if you want to fix that defect in the particular sprint then the sprint should be selected after selecting each and every component you have to click on create same thing is applicable for the story as well there are certain minor changes in this if you want to uh, develop any content with a scratch so uh, that content or that project is divided into small small story so that story should be mentioned in this content so defect is after development of any product or any functionality any issue is found is goes under bug or defect and if the project holder or project person manager or the project pmo person we want to create anything required in the future section so they will create in the story and the epic is basically used for the sprint manager or scrum master so after clicking on the create that defect is uh, created with the defect id this is called as defect id and our story is also available with the uh, green tab that is story id so after creating to do list so there are various status available uh, after creating the defects default issue type screen in default issue type scheme all newly created issue will be added auto automatically to the screen so uh, in my dashboard if i am going to the only defect issues and filter you can see the all the list of defects which i have created is uh, available here all open issues if i select then the, all the open issues are available here all issues all issue it means closed uh, assigned uh, rejected everything will be involved here so basically when we are working with the jira so dashboard is a very much important part uh, in that section so just like if i will click here uh, on the expand session or uh, in the dashboard so my dashboard it is also configured it you want to configure it as you want so if there is any discussion available in that so that is also available if you want to create as a chart or graphical notation that can be also possible by using jira 
so i have created uh, those many defects with the high priority and uh, the low priority everything is all here if i have created any story that is also available if i am added in any discussion that is also available so if you want to uh, show in the graphical format that is also possible in the jira so this is your all about your dashboard so when you are working with the any content so your work is and if it is assigned to you so when you click on the assign to me so that is available here so any defect or any story is assigned to the person who is logging so that content will be available stayed means start your work for quick access that is all about if you want to add or see any person available in this so you can see every person or if you want to search that person name that is also possible while clicking people so jira setting in the jira setting various options are available creating projects and add people started as a team system or any other configurable section that is also possible in this screen so this is all about your uh, jira software and your dashboard so as we have discussed if you want to search any issue uh, or any uh, story id so you can search it from here so create project if you want to create any new project that is also possible from this section ses section so jira is a very much important part in the issues components if you look into the uh, status or uh, the status of the defects we can discuss in the further session hope you understand this topic this is very much important in the software testing process and it is very globally and every industry use uh, this application so if someone is working in the software testing industry this is a very much important part in the of the application that jira it is a demo created uh, by me for uh, with the special request of these uh, viewer or subscribers so hope you like it if you have any queries or comment please comment in the comment box so that i will check and revert with the resolution and the further session i will explain in the next part and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you